Hi everyone, welcome to Bulunmaz YouTube channel. In this video, I would like to show you how to use mini head tool in different jewelry applications for your production. Mini hand tool is one of our best seller tools. It comes with many different degrees and the most important thing about mini head tool is as the head size of the tool is small, you can work on many small items. As the head size of the tool is really small, you can work on many different small items. I would like you understand better about this, so I will work on many different items that you can see how detailed I can work with mini head tool. I'm using Bullet Mass Micro Motor. As you probably know, it has a 50,000 RPM maximum speed. You just need to fix your tool inside the micro motor headpiece and lock it two times. As the head size is small, I don't have any balance problem. So with my micro motor, I will use my tool at the maximum speed of 50,000 RPM. Let's start with having a crystal cut design on this ring. My ring is small, so it will be a good chance to show you how much detail you can work on such small items. In the first ring, I completed my model with crystal cut in a round shape. First of all, I covered the side of my ring with diamond cuts and I didn't have any problem at all because the mini head tool can work any detailed items. And over my ring, I completed my mini hand tool design on a round shape basis. I'm using 145 degree mini head tool in this video. I especially choose this model because as it's a middle size, not 140, not 150, it's a perfect choice when you don't know uh, exactly you want to work on a thin or thick item. If your jewelry is average, 145 degree of mini head tool would be a good choice. Let's work on my second ring. I will make a flower design for you. Always keep in mind, it's really easy to control the mini head tool. The head size of the mini tool is really small and it allows your hand to move as flexible as you want. I'm again using my maximum speed which is 50,000 RPM and now I need more creativity to make the flower design on, my, uh, on the flat surface of my ring. I just completed my second design with a flower on it. Instead of covering my ring with a full of crystal cuts, I made a flower design. On the upper side you can see that the heart of the flower and below I used my mini head tool 2mm 145 degree for making longer lines for making the body and the leaves of the flower. And finally I put two touch of diamond cuts on left and right side of my ring. Let's try the same flower design idea on a flat piece so you can have a better idea how to hold your flat pieces. Of course it's easy to hold a ring but when it comes to a flat pieces you have to use a little bit tricky way. 
I have that material with me. It's a flexible material that you can find on in different many countries. You can also contact us uh, to learn or supply this material. It's a sticky material which is very flexible and you can make a round shape which you can hold it uh, strong and then fix your flat piece on it. Let's make a comfortable position and fix our jewelry piece. I fix my uh, flat jewelry piece that can be gold, silver, uh, whatever soft metal material. Again, I'm using at maximum speed 50,000 RPM and I will make a free form design just coming in my improvisation on my uh, flat piece. Four line. I made another basic flower design on my freeform design. This material is really flexible, so by pushing your piece, you can easily take it out. You can see on the surface that I created four flowers with their head, body, and the leaves around. I'm using 2 mm 145 degree tool. As I told you, when you don't know or when you have the option to work on thick and thin materials in a mixed way, like this one is really a thin material, my ring was a thick material then 145 degree is a really good idea because that will be an optimum uh, degree which is not so deep, which is not so wide and you can use on most of your jewelry pieces. After completing my uh, flat piece, I want to show you the last one. I want to work on such a, a chain. You can fix that chain the same way I was fixing the flat piece. It's a, I cast this chain for me in on a brass, but of course that could be a gold or silver. All I need to do is make my uh, sticking material in a long way, which will hold my chain strong enough. I'm pulling it, it's really flexible. You can find this material in most of countries or just contact us, we will supply you also this material. Don't worry about it. It's really useful when you are making hand design. Then I'm fixing my uh, chain over my sticky material. That will just take a few seconds. And when the, it's deep enough, it will hold my chain strong enough. Just be sure that you leave the sides open because when you are uh, cutting, your tool shouldn't touch here for the comfort of your diamond cut. So make it sure that it's uh, it's high enough. My material is ready to work the same way, the maximum speed again, and I will be working really easy, uh, totally hand control, and start decorating my, uh, my chin.
I made crystal cut on my chain again holding with my uh, sticky material. I'm easily taking it out. One important uh, information about my chain, it's a really uh, thin chain. You can see the it's a hollow. So even on this uh, thin chain, you can work easily with two millimeter, uh, 145 degree mini head tool. There are many other different uh, chain models. These are coming from direct casting. It's printed on 3D printer and then it comes like a direct casting from resin. And you can supply, you can have many different models and you can decorate with our mini head tool easily. I try to show you maximum about our mini head tool, uh, many, how many different models you can work with mini head tool. I hope you get some idea about uh, how to use the mini head tool. I hope you find our videos useful for your jewelry production. I'm trying to show you as much as I can or very detailed about our product. Sometimes we might be getting boring for some people who know very well about these technologies, but some people are starters. So that's why in most of my videos, I try to give uh, the details at maximum level. We have followers all around the world in many different countries. When you look at our statistics, uh, we have followers, watches from all around the world. For example, one of our followers uh, ranged from uh, United Kingdom, London. He just visited our uh, showroom having a look at our products. How are you? I'm good. Why you see products? Amazing. Do you like? Yeah. Okay, but you can't stop. You don't. Okay, I give you. Let me check. Did you get to ink? Yes. All this? Oh, yes. Right. Let me check. Examination. Okay, I believe you can make. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, are you subscribed? Yeah. Ah, okay. okay. Oh. I am very sad. <laughs> so, don't forget to subscribe uh, our YouTube channel because we are posting continuously about different general technologies, different products. Any questions, you can write in the comments. We will reply immediately in comments. Or even better, we prefer to make a video answering your entire question. That's a really uh, good way for us to understand our followers, our jewelry manufacturers, uh, customers request and we can answer very detailed. Hi. Hola. Bienvenidos. Professor. See you in the next video. See you. Bye bye. Bye bye.